Would you still like me if I was a foot shorter than you? I probably would have stopped talking to you. <gasps> hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! What's going on? Uh, we got your fam here, Megan and Jack. It's um, us again. It's us again. Again? Again. Again. And today, Jack is going to be asking me, because last time I asked him, juicy questions that most men are afraid to ask. Yes. Um, so, they're going to get pretty saucy. We just want to give a shout out to uh, Matt, Matt and, Abby. and Abby. We got this idea from them. Yeah. Um, so if you guys haven't checked them out on uh, YouTube, you totally should. It's just Matt and Abby. So we're going to start it out um, with, um, yeah. What's like one sexual fantasy you have? Oh. Okay, we're just jumping right into it. Okay, um, I don't know, I guess. What's the fantasy you have of me? I like how you had to add, you were like, with me. With me. Don't say with like, oh. Well. What's the fantasy you have with me? <laughs> Um, you want me to wear a fry costume? No, Being but it would be kind of like, I don't know, it'd be kind of sexy if like, I don't know, like you were like in the woods or something and you had like a, like one of those like loincloths. So you're telling me I walk <laughs> in the woods, barbarian, <gasps> with my loincloth on, and you're like, Jack, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> Next question. If you could choose anything I was wearing right now, what would you choose? Okay, um, a button-up shirt with a giant, like, cowboy belt. <laughs> and blue jeans with cowboy boots. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not saying I want you to wear that every day. I'm just saying, like, if you could, if I could, like, choose... So you wish I was a cowboy? <laughs> I'm not a cowboy, love! God, I gotta keep you away from cowboys now. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Jerk! <laughs> I just like, um, yeah. I don't know, I, I kind of want to want to see what you look like in that. Okay, this is fun. This is kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> I love me a low and cloth cowboy. Ow. If we were out for dinner right now. Okay. And I said, let's get spicy right now. Would you do it? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I Honey, know. I'd be like terrified. Thank God, Thank God you said no. Because I'd be scared. What's up with the <laughs> oddly sexual? I didn't, even mean, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Cut the camera. I'm making hot chocolate. We're back at it. Will you try this? I'm worried that oat milk is bad. Wait, why would you have me try it first? Because I don't want to try it. So I die? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you would oh, it's bad. You dump it out. <laughs> and cut. What's your favorite part of my body? <laughs> is it my double tongue? That's so sweet. It's your nose. It's your nose. Oh, little My nose! No! Act like you're doing it. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Ready? Yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> My face! Oh, this is a funny question. Okay. This is kind of unrelated to this. Okay. Have you ever accidentally walked on anyone in on anyone naked? I don't know, I feel, I feel like me and my friends. I feel, I feel like never a guy though. No, I, yes, I did with a guy one time. I did. His name was Zach. I remember him. I worked with him. It was an accident? Yeah, it was an accident. Okay. The epic list, 200 questions to ask oh. a girl. All right. All right, what would you do if a girl asked for your number and hit on you? I would be so flattered. I'd literally be like, you are so sweet. Like, thank you. I literally, that, that just made my day. Yeah, and then you'd be like, oh my God, let's go out sometime. Just go no, rude, Jack. No, I'd be like, I have a boyfriend. You know, I am straight, but thank you so much. And like, you are gorgeous. Thank you for Aww. that. I would be so, I'd be like, oh my God. Would you still like me if I was a foot shorter than you? I probably would have stopped talking to you <gasps> before I saw you. Like, because we were long distance. So if I was four foot ten, you would have stopped talking I to me? I would have stopped talking to you. <gasps> I would have been like, shit, I liked him, but I mean, I feel like girls know, I feel like a lot of girls probably relate to that though. This question's pretty intense. Oh okay. God, okay. So this one's pretty spicy. I feel like it's not gonna be spicy at oh, all. No, no, I'm a little bit afraid to ask this one. <sighs> if you were a vegetable, which one would you be? I'd be asparagus. Not many, not many people like vegetables, but like, Asparagus is good. Plus I'm that tall bean with like that floofy hair. You do look like asparagus. <laughs> Alright, on a scale of one to Chris Hemsworth, how attractive do you think I am? Oh, one to Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. So I actually don't even find Chris Hemsworth that attractive. <sighs> so, <laughs> so am I. On a scale of one to Gal Gadot, how attractive am I? 
beyond that. Oh, he didn't even hesitate. 100%. If you were a man for a day, what would you do? Oh, the first thing I would do if I was a man is I'd go to New York at night and I'd walk <laughs> around. Oh my god, that's so true. I'm not scared. I'm just having a good time. I've always wanted to go to Target at 1 a.m. <laughs> that is so sad. I know, but it's like so true though. Wow. I'd, I'd be like, let me enjoy not being scared. And I mean, I'm not saying that like, you know. Not every guy. There are a lot of things I don't think like. That's how I swooped her up actually. <laughs> you were on the side of the road. And I was like, hey. Oh, no, God, no. If your um, sex life could be described in ice creams, what kind of ice creams would it be? Wasabi flavored. Vanilla. I'm, I'm answering this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably like a mix of like wasabi because it's spicy. There's wasabi ice cream. That's a thing. That's disgusting. Um, some vanilla because you know vanilla is like you gotta have vanilla ice cream to make up better ice cream. True. Birthday cake, ice cream because it's flavorful. Very flavorful. Very like out there. There's so much stuff going on in it. You know, like there's a bunch of colorful. Spark. Oh my god. <laughs> you shared a lot of info. <laughs> and then probably some... Body once, once told me the world was macaroni! You said the world was gonna owe me. <laughs> I ate the sharpest tool in the shed. No, somebody once told me the world was macaroni, so I made it all into a hat or something like that. Like make, like make a room. Do you want to marry me one day? Baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, good one. Course. Good one. Of course. Chip off of your block there. <laughs> Baby. Whoa. Well, I'm glad you want to marry me one day, honey. Do you want to marry me one day? Yeah, of course. World's most awkward kiss. That was so weird. We're breathing. Okay. Ready? Do you want to have kids with me? Yes. I. 100% want to have kids. Let me tell you all a little story time. Oh. One time we were in the car and Jack story looks time. at me. I've, always, I've been honest from the start. I want to have kids. Mm -hmm. Jack and I are in the car one time. He mm -hmm. looks at me and he goes, what would you do if I told you I didn't want to have kids? But we were living together at this point. Like he had told me he wanted kids and my heart dropped because I was like, is this his way of being like, I've been lying. I don't want kids. No, I want to have kids. Yeah. And, then, and then he was like, I know. I was just like asking. And I was like, well, if you said that, that would be. A problem. As long as our kids look like you, then I'd be happy. They'll be tall. And I think they'll have curly dark hair. When do you think I'll propose? So I have this like schedule in my head that I've had for a long time. My proposal radar, we've been together for a year. We are now living together. We so I'm like the next step would, would be that. So I'd say it'll be like at a point where we're like, oh yeah, any day. The next year, year and a half. Whew, that soon? <laughs> I'm kidding. What's your last question? Okay. The last question! If you had one day left to live, what would you do? I would take you and we would drive to the nearest airport and we would command them to fly us anywhere we wanted to go. Personally, I think I would say Rome, somewhere in Rome. Wow, really? Yep, and then we'd be like, we'll go wherever you want to go. And then wherever we are in the moment where the, the, the day's over, we'd hold hands and be like, we're spending them together. I made him cry. No, you didn't make me cry. This never happens. Oh, no, honey. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, I can't believe you want to spend it with me. That's awesome. Do you really think I wouldn't? Well, I know you want to spend it with me, but I just didn't know you were going to do that, so. Well, guys, it's time to say goodbye. Because that was the last question. Jack, give me your arm. It's time for the goodbye song. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. It's been a long, happy day. And this video has been nice. But it's time to say goodbye. It's time to do the closing time. It's been really, really nice. But it's time to say goodbye. Hey, guys, Megan and Jack out. Thank you, guys. We love you all. Make sure to subscribe yeah. and uh, like the video and check out right. other videos. So we're as gonna well. head out. Oh, <laughs> we're going the same way. That's super awkward. Where's your car at? What? Oh my god, it's um, right next to ours. Uh, what? Whoa. Crazy. I'm I, actually that way. Oh, oh well, I'm gonna go that way too then. Oh, your car's that way now. Yeah. Weird. Oh my god, I hate that when that happens. <laughs> yeah, like, we're just, so weird. We ah. should... <laughs>